Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez, and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkrid Systems. Today we're going to be talking about using import data with my SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro. What this is, is that I went ahead and designed a bike chain ring, and I already did, you know, as a standalone part, I grabbed my operation plan, my features, I had set up my whole CAM setup there. Now that I've jumped into an assembly environment, I want to be able to bring that information and not have to start all over again. So one of the first things I'm going to do, I would reset my stock manager. I told what part it was going to machine and other parts as well. I'll go ahead and set up my coordinate system. And here, what I'm going to do is I'll go to my stock bounding box vertex. Of course, it's very important. I could have used maybe what I had already picked with my standalone part. But here, since it's not just a standalone part, I'm going to put it at the corner of my stock. And of course, it's always very important to know what orientation the Z direction is. Mine is not in the correct one. And again, it's important because this is what's going to dictate where your spindle is going to come from. I'll go ahead and select that edge there. Very good. And of course, I need that Z pointing up because the spindle comes from top to bottom. And I also want to adjust that Z. I'm sorry, my X. So I'll go ahead and do that right here. Beautiful. Let me change its direction. OK. So as far as this guy's concerned, we have our axis set up already. And now, instead of me having to tell SOLIDWORKS what features are going to come in and adjust my settings, I can just right click on the part and click here where it says import part data. Now, this what this allows me to do is that I have the option to delete existing data. There is no existing data as far as features are concerned or operations. It would have deleted and replaced it with the information from the standalone part. Merge with existing data is what it sounds like. It would have merged with anything that was already existing. We're going to delete existing data so it can import the information from the standalone part. And there it is. So I have my feature set. My operations are here. And now, of course, I can generate a toolpath. One thing that I'm going to do, and again, just as a reminder for those of you who use SolidWorks Camp Pro with assemblies, I want to make sure my fixtures are there. That's very simple to add. I can just double click on the setup. And from the fixtures tab, I can select everything here. And now I just click OK. Now I can generate my toolpath, which is fine. And if I double click now, if I go ahead and actually simulate it, I'll go ahead. Okay. Now I've previously had it based on turbo mode. Now it'll show me all the steps. So right off the bat, I don't like what's happening because it's just skipping all over the place. It's not going in a horizontal vertical direction. That's very simple to adjust. Again, just as a reminder, you can double click on the part manager go to sort instances and from the grid pattern we can choose the start corner be from the top right bottom left bottom right in my circumstance top left is perfect the direction can be vertical or horizontal i'll leave it a horizontal and the pattern can be a zig or a zigzag which i'll leave it at that okay perfect so now we can simulate the toolpath And now we'll see how it'll move. OK, a lot, lot better. Perfect. So now that we're able to see that, we're interested in seeing what the end product is. And we can always switch to our turbo mode. And what turbo mode allows me to do is as soon as I hit play, we're going to go straight into our end result. OK. So here I can see what my end result is, and I'm pleased with it. So again, Using import part data helps us expedite the process. It's something that we can use so that we don't have to start all over again and start from scratch. So again, you can bring that information and in, make your adjustments and expedite the process. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let us know there in the comment section. Again, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and thanks again.